So first of all, we'll be creating an application. As we discussed earlier, a single org, this right here, this org right here, can have multiple applications. Now, what are those applications? It could be sales, service, marketing, and a custom application that we want to make, right? So whatever we see here currently are all standard applications. But now we'll go ahead and make a entirely new custom application out of the box from scratch. So I'll just type in here apps in the quick find box. As always, we use the quick find box for all our troubles. And you see this option here, app manager. You can just click on the app manager. This lists, lists down all the applications that are currently in the system. So if you see all the applications, you know, sales, marketing and everything is present here. And you know whether it is a classic application or a lightning application, right? So what we'll be going through is we'll be creating a new lightning application through this button right here. All right, let's click on this button and this opens up the first page which talks about the app details and branding, right? So I'll just name this COVID tracker app. So we'll be working on a COVID tracking application. All right, so the developer name gets automatically populated and I'll just add the description which is optional. This application will track COVID counts every day. All right, and here we can upload an image. This is this would normally be your company logo, but here in this case we don't have any logo per se. So let's just assign uh, assign it a color. So if you see, if I can just assign it a color like this, and this would be your launcher preview, and this is taking the initials of your name of the application that's CT, and this is showing you the description. All right, now we can click on next. This opens up the second screen that talks about app options on navigation and experience. So there are two types of navigation styles. One is standard navigation and one is console navigation. We'll stick with the standard navigation, which is the standard Salesforce navigation. Then supported form factors. You would definitely want your application to be available on both desktop and phone. So we'll keep this selected as well. Setup and personalization. Under this, you have two options. Either you can go with the full setup options or you can go with service setup. Now service setup is more for the service cloud related uh, stuff, but I would suggest you go with the setup option because that has all the options, including the service setup as well. All right. And then we'll just leave this checkboxes unchecked as is and click on next. The next thing is utility item desktop only. So utility items are nothing but easy, quick actions that you can log in the footer, log in the footer of your application. And if you want to use them, you can just click on those footer icons. Right. So if we just take a look at what kind of utility items can be added, so you can definitely have a chatter feed, history, some list views. If you want to take some notes, if you are working as a call uh, in a call center as a service cloud rep or a support rep, you can use CTI. This is the telephone integration. And then you could have some dashboards, some visual force and reports as well. So these are quick actions and you can also create some custom applications and you can add it there. For now, we don't need anything on the utility bars. We'll just click on next without selecting anything. And then the next thing we get is the available items. So under available items, what you see is these are all objects currently that are present in the system. And if you want to use or leverage any of these app, any of these available items, you can just click on it and you can just move it to the selected items item section, right? So what we'll be doing is we'll be just taking up contacts, which is an object in the system. And then I'll just click on next. So our application will have the contacts tab available. We'll see that in a while. The next section talks about the user profiles. What kind of profiles should this application be accessible to, right? We talked about how profiles control all the visibility. So if we want a specific profile to have access to this particular lightning application, all we will have to do is move that uh, profile in the right side of the uh, table. So I'll just quickly go down below and here click on system administrator, which is our current profile and click on this button right here. Alongside this, we can also move our support manager profile, right? The custom profile that we created. So these two profiles will be able to access the lightning application that we are creating. And now this is since this is the last step, you get save and finish. And once we click on finish, the lightning application is created. And if you see under this section right here, you see the COVID tracker application is here, right? If in future you want to make any changes, you can definitely click on this carrot icon, carrot icon and click on edit and the same screens open up and you can make changes. All right, so this will open up the lightning app builder and you can make changes to your application. So you see app details, you can make changes here. You can make changes to the app options, utility items, navigation items and pro user profiles. All right, so for now, let me just remove this. I can do that and I can just click on save. See, so I can make changes, right? And I can just go back. This will take me back to the setup. Now that our application is created, this is our first line, first application as an admin. Let's click on this app launcher icon and let's try to type it out. 
so if i type covid you see my application is coming up here if you do not really know the name you can just click on view all and you'll see your application somewhere here which is covid tracker right here now this is right at the bottom one more ease of access that salesforce provides here is if you have multiple applications so it could be a good use case wherein a, a particular user is working for multiple applications right he's part of the service team marketing team as well as he's taking care of the covid tracker so he would be seeing these applications all together but whatever is the most focused or most primary to him he can just click on it and drag and drop it like this so now he'll be able to see it on the top right it's just a just pick and drop pick up pick up and drop okay and then we can just close it and now if you go to the app launcher you'll see covid tracker coming on top right so you can directly click on covid tracker and this opens up our application and as you can see we added a navigation item right contacts so, so the contact section is getting opened and you can create new contacts and you can you know take a look at all the existing contact records all right cool